Well, hello everybody. Well, we got a nice rainy day today, so what better thing to do than do a video? And today we're gonna work on some processing. And I was doing a real quick video on a noise reduction feature that I I discovered in PixInsight. It's been around for years. I'm sure a lot of people already know about it. But that's the multi-linear transform uh, noise reduction. I hadn't used it properly before, but I have now, and it really works uh, quickly, and it does a really good job. And I'll I want to share that or share that with you right now. Well, hello everyone. I am back, and I'm going to try to do this with one take or pretty close. So bear with me if I do some tongue twisting. Let me show you how to do it. First off, we come over here to process, go down to noise reduction, and here it is right here, multi-scale linear transform. Click it open, and this is the screen that appears. First thing you want to do is you want to create a small little preview window. The smaller, the better, because you don't want it too big, but you want it big enough to get you know, some of the galaxy or nebula what you're doing and you want to get some of the background in here and we'll click open the preview okay and now over here we're going to leave it at the algorithm that says starlet we'll leave it here at dyadic i'm not exactly sure what that means and we're going to leave the target at rgb k composite although you could do some of these other ones separately if you choose to and we're going to leave all this alone for now and we're going to do the noise reduction but we're not going to go here yet so we're going to click open the linear mask okay and we'll click this down here now this image that i have up here the only thing i've done with it is i did automatic background extraction and i did some color calibration and background neutralization although i'm not i'm not entirely liking the colors but it came out okay i actually completed this image so so now what we're going to do is we're going to click open the real-time preview because you do this in real-time preview okay and so here's our here's our preview mask the real-time preview of the preview mask and now we're going to click open this where it says preview mask so this is a linear mask as i said this is a linear image all right and now you can adjust it right here so I like to put it between 270 to 300 to start off with, and you'll see what it did. So right now it's going to protect all this area, and over here it's going to apply the mask portion. I've got it on inverted. Make sure you have this on inverted right now. And you can also adjust this. This is the smoothness. Notice how it sort of got fuzzy on the outside. We'll leave it like this for now. Now we're going to click it so it's not showing the preview mask. And it goes back to our, our real-time preview. Now, don't be con so concerned with this because we can adjust this later. You'll see what I mean in a few minutes. Now we're going to go back to the noise reduction and we're going to click on it. All right. And here's the default that comes up. Three, one, and one. So that's the threshold is three. The one is the amount and the iterations is one. We're going to leave the iterations at one right now, but I like to add more iterations it does a better job but we can do that later first off you'll see what it did already just by doing that i don't know if you can actually see it on my screen but you uh, hopefully you can but we're actually going to turn the amount down a little bit on this first time we'll turn it down to 80.8 still left quite a bit of um of noise reduction then we're going to click over here to the next layer and we're gonna click on noise reduction again for the second layer and now we're going to turn that down to about 2.5 and we'll turn the amount down to 0.7 in this case so we start off at 0.8 we're going to 0.7 we'll click on the third layer turn it on and now we'll go down to the threshold at 2 
and we'll turn the amount down to 0.6. Okay. And you can see how it's just getting rid of this noise really well. And we'll click on a fourth layer. Actually, I'm going to turn this layer on to five, which you can do at any point. So you have added another layer there. Oops, no, I screwed up. There we go. And let's see, we're on layer four now. And we'll click on noise reduction. And now we're going to go down to 1.5. Turn this down to 0.5 now, and you can see what it's doing into that background. And we'll do one more. This we're going to finish off here at this fifth layer. Turn it on, and now we'll go down to 0.1. And now I'm going to go down to 0.4. Our round point. These are just defaults. You can play around with these sliders any way you want. So I'm just doing this as a quick and dirty uh, example here. But you can see what it did in the background. It just did a wonderful job. Now, I think I mentioned this linear mask business here. So as I said, you can play around with these numbers. So let's say you found out that you did too much noise reduction on your object well you can turn off you can turn this up let's go up to like 600 give it a second and you can see now the outside here uh is the noise is back <laughs> but let's say oh, geez you know i i don't like it like this i want to i want to reduce some of the noise here but i want to keep the the core intact so you can turn it down again i'll go back down to 300 or whatever i had it from before 270 Give it a second, and there we go. So now the core is the core is still protected, but this is not. So, anyways, this is how it looks. And I think I said you can change the iterations at any point. So I like to do you know more iterations the better. I'll just do two iterations on each one of these levels. Okay. So that's what it's doing. You can see it made it a little bit better. Just small, subtle images. Now, how to apply it to the whole image? Why, by golly, you just come over here and press the image itself, and then drag this little triangle and let it do its thing. As I said, this is just new to me uh, but i've used pixinsight for over a year now maybe two years so if you're new to pixinsight and you're not aware of this it's definitely worth looking at if you're thinking about using pixinsight this is just another tool you might want to think about buying it it's it's well worth it this program I, and, and for my opinion in my opinion okay, it takes a minute for, to do this Okay, I'll just click this off. I'll just move that to the side and I'll close this because we don't really need that window open now. And so, voila, there is my image. And here it is with the noise reduction. And let's turn it off to see what it'll do. And we'll do undo. And you can see what it did. Let me scroll closer to this so you have a better view. Turn it on and turn it off. So I'll turn it back on. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you later.